Okay, this is Jamie with Metier Velo, and I'm going to explain some of the features of the micro adjusting saddle mount uh, Metier Velo exclusive, which you have to really see to appreciate, I think. Um, the most distinctive feature is that it is comprised of a threaded sleeve, which I bond into your frame, uh, and a threaded post. And, and to accomplish the uh, vertical height adjustment, you actually just turn the post in the sleeve one millimeter of a height adjustment per turn and then you secure your saddle position with the lock nut like that. Now it's super simple, super secure because it's a two bolt design um, It's super easy to install because the, both bolts are easily accessible from the rear of the, the um, saddle mount. Now the saddle rests on a 3D printed cradle uh, which has a center ridge which runs along a track inside the uh, uh, the base here. So to, to get your saddle uh, onto the post in the first place, super simple. You don't need to have parts falling all over the place. You just uh, put your saddle in with the bolts, clamp bolts a little bit loose and then you can slide this uh, little cradle right into the bottom. The track, the raised part nestles right into the track and then you just put it down there. Now to secure your saddle Standard uh, stainless steel uh, bolts from McMaster Hardware. Use a four millimeter Allen key, which you'd, you should always have in your saddle bag. And then clamp those down so your saddle's secure. Now before I do that, I just want to point out that like any tool bolt design, you uh, change the angle of the saddle by simultaneously tightening one bolt and adjusting the other. But what's different about the micro adjusting saddle mount is that it pivots over what I call a neutral pivot design. The, the center point of the pivot for the saddle is up here at the top of the saddle. And that's to um, isolate as much as possible changes in angle from any change in uh, height that you need to, um, that accompanies any change of angle. So you can never change the angle of the saddle without changing the height. But this at least gives you uh, an idea of how much you're going to have to adjust the, the height after you change the saddle. Because it's a two bolt design, you can change the angle of the saddle uh, without changing the position for aft position on the rails and vice versa. You can loosen the bolt, one of the anchor bolts, and uh, accomplish your fore aft uh, position change and then tighten the bolt back up and you'll be at the exact same saddle height or saddle angle that you were before. Um, and finally what I would like to point out is that the cr cradle and clamp are um, 25 millimeters long so you get maximum fore aft adjustment and the clamp sits directly above the cradle so that they're squeezing the uh, saddle rails instead of um, putting any sort of bending force on it. Um, and so it should uh, uh, give you the maximum amount of fore aft adjustment that you can get, but be as gentle on your saddle rails as, as, uh, as uh, should be possible. Um, okay, well I'm going to get this tightened up and ready to go and all snug down and uh, ready for a uh, test drive. So, thanks a lot. This is Jamie White with Metier Velo.